Hi, so I recently got a Yagi antenna here, and this is a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi antenna. And the reason why I got one of these is because I want to get a signal that is actually two blocks away. And what I'm trying to do is actually get public Wi-Fi for, uh, you know, where my parents live. And I don't want to necessarily pay for the uh, Wi-Fi because they uh, sparingly use it. So... I am using this Yagi, and the reason why I got this idea is because one of my friends actually has two of these Yagis, and he is sharing his uh, own Wi-Fi connection with his parents, who actually live about three blocks away. So what he did was he had one of these Yagis as a transmitter aimed at his parents' house, and his parents also has one of these as a receiver that is aimed at his house and he was able to get a very good reliable wi-fi signal for his parents who's three blocks away and so i'm using the same method here and i find that it does work now um i will have the links in the description area of where i got this so you could get the proper uh 2.4 gigahertz and this particular one only cost 13 dollars for me so um, it was worth trying for me for that reason now, now I do have one of these alphas with the, uh, I believe it's called RPSMA antenna connections. So all I'm doing here is I am removing the connector. And just to zoom in, you can see this is the male. And this here is the female. And so the Yagi... And let me just go around and show you the Yagi itself. So the Yagi is a 20 inch. So what I'm gonna do is actually put this in the TV cabinet uh, because I do have this uh, as a multimedia PC to my television or to my parents' television. So I am simply on this end. It also has a RP SMA a female connector here uh, j just f just anything that attaches sorry for the uh, non-focus here um, so so what I'm simply gonna do is connect this to this antenna and I'll have all of these in the description area the links of uh, exactly the models and makes and where I got it from and so I am just gonna twist the Yagi antenna in here and I am going to aim it at where I want to get the signal so I'll get a stronger signal and a more reliable signal so what I found is um, you'll need this type of software to actually gauge the signal strength but um, signal strength is not the only thing is um, there's also something called link quality which I believe is the number of dropped packets here uh, so you might get a good signal, but the, um, the I, I guess the packets might be unreliable and the error correction would not be able to correct it and you'd get a lot of drop packets. So in, um, and maybe I didn't explain that, uh, you know, te in technical terms correctly, but what I find is um, this Yagi does have a more reliable signal and a quality signal. So... Um, it doesn't have the dropped, basically drop connections. And the reason why I need that is, um, you know, so, sometimes you, you do have, you know, I use VPN and it needs a reliable signal. So every time the signal drops, it actually disconnects. And I find with this, it just doesn't disconnect. So, um... Just want to go through the quality. So the quality of this is very decent. So this is, you know, solid, just solid aluminum it looks like. And each one of these is about an inch away. And I believe that is how they uh, get that to be uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So just going through, showing you. And they do have mounting brackets that come with it. And I'm act actually just using this you know, to rest, to rest it like that. I'm not actually mounting it to anything. As I mentioned, I put, I'll put this in the TV cabinet 
and just aim it in the right direction as a multimedia PC to my, H, uh, my parents' HD television. Um, so just to give you a closer look at you know what how this is actually constructed but it's a good deal for 13 bucks and it's worth trying if that is what you're also uh, trying to get at um, you know what I'm also trying to do so um, the adapter here my AC adapter now this side is actually attached to the Yagi and this is, I'm just keeping this antenna here, the omnidirectional antenna. So, and what I have here is an Alpha, but I also use a BroTrends, uh, which is a lot cheaper than the Alpha. It's like, uh, you know, 25 bucks versus the 40 bucks for the Alpha. And let me give, give you a closer look here. Now the cord itself from the Yagi, this is three feet. So just keep that in mind. And I hope to give you a uh, there. So, so that's a focused, you, you can see. And this is the, you know, male end, which is common in a lot of, uh, consumer adapters. Um, but that's really what I want to show. I hope I didn't ramble too much. Uh, and I hope this helps and please subscribe and thank you for watching.